Hello everybody, it's Linda, and I've finally got another project to share with you. So this is Marie Antoinette, and uh, I've made uh, this album. I've um, been working on it for quite some time, but now it's done, and uh, let me share it with you. So uh, Marie here is uh, just a cutout from a collage image that I got from an Etsy seller. And I made this fan for her to hold. And this is just a butterfly from Wild Look at Crafts. And this is a bow from Wild Look at Crafts. And uh, put some feathers and a bead spray from Art Angels Design on Etsy. And uh, just a little bling here. Made her a necklace. And this beautiful lace makes up her dress. And I just sew the so sew. Oh, I never know what that's called, <laughs> but I made this out of fabric and uh, glued some lace on some bead trims. Um, this is also from Art Angels Design on Etsy, and here are some lilies, I think they're called, from Wild Look at Crafts. Same over here, some little roses, some sequence trim, and this is just pearl trim. Uh, another rose from Wild Good Crafts with some uh, stickles on it and some more lace that I colored pink using some distress inks here. And um, again, uh, like I showed you in my previous video, uh, these are just cut apart beaded trims from Annie that I just glued onto this heart and some more beaded trim. This is some paper sticker lace that I got from a Norwegian company and I don't know if they sell them anymore and uh, I just went around the edges here with some gold paint dabber and I put some eyelets in so I'm binding this with lace but I just kept it apart now to make it easier to show you so that's that I'm really happy with how it turned out and here you can place a photo so the next page, I decorated the, the back of Marie Antoinette here with some flowers and some butterflies. These are just mulberry flowers that I cut apart and glued the Wild Crafts butterflies. This is just a charm that I got from an eBay seller and some Prima pearls. did some crackle here. And uh, this is a Spellbinders die that I just cut out the papers. I used DCWV papers for this. And I got the papers in um, from uh, my dear friend Leonie, uh, my passion for paper here on YouTube. So really love the paper. Just let me see what it's called. It's the Treshik stack from DCWV. So thank you so much, Leonie, for the papers. And, um, yeah, uh, this frame, uh, I just put some glossy accents on it. And this is from Kane Company. There is acetate here, so so this is um, a workable frame. You can put a slider picture in here. You can write something here. This is just a Martha Stewart lace punch. Some more layered flowers here and there. This is um, I Am Rose's Rose. Love it. And so is this. This is from Wild Orchid Crafts, from I Am Roses. And um, uh, some flatback pearls with some like delicate leaves under it. All the way around here, the bottom and some more lace under here. The leaves are also from I Am Roses. They're beautiful. And these leaves are from Annie's shop. Uh, Annie is now on Etsy, and uh, her shop is called Miss Garden Grove One. And uh, yeah, that's that page. And then the the opposite page is here, and uh, made this heart. And you can just open this, and you can put p pictures in here. And there's also room for a picture, and you can write something here on this heart. And it's held close with a magnet. The same beads here. Um, and yeah, also, thank you so much, Anna uh, Zanero one here on YouTube. She sent me this gorgeous chipboard album to, to work with, and she's designed it herself. Unfortunately, she's not selling her albums anymore, 
but I was fortunate enough to get this as a present from her. So thank you so much, Anna. Without your wonderful die cuts, this album would not have happened. It's what inspired me to make this. So um, here is just a, a flower. What I don't know what it's called. <laughs> Sorry about that, but um, I cannot also remember who sells them. But I, I know that I got them off an Etsy seller. And uh, layers of paper flowers. Again, the I am Rose's leaves here, double layered, and then uh, Annie's leaves here, silk leaves. And um, some braided, Chinese braided trim, some more pearl trim, some more of the uh, sticker lace here. And this is the paper from the collection. Just went around the edges with the black paint dubber. Yeah, and uh, these are just some Tim Holtz decades. Is that what it's called? Um, it's from a Tim Holtz die. Some more of that lace. And went around the edges here with gold. So that's that. And then we've got a pink page here. And this pulls out so you can put a, a photo in and slide it back in. And uh, this bling trim here I got from... Uh, Lucy Jose, uh, I don't know if she still has an Etsy store, um, but I got it from her and I also got a lot of this trim from my friends. I think I've got gotten trims like this from Leonie, my passion for paper, from Fiona Denning 644, from Va, Bianca, uh, oh, Bianca, so from Anna Zanero one here on YouTube. So, and this trim I bought from Annie. Uh, when she had the blog shop. I don't know if she still carries it, but I really, really love it. And it was perfect for this. And this is just some bling trim, some layered laces here. And this is a pocket holding some tags. The tags are from the paper collection. Yeah. So, uh, and this flower I got from Annie as well in a rack. And uh, just some paper flower. And this trim is just gorgeous and some beaded pearls here so <laughs> you know i'm just talking myself dizzy here but there's a lot of trims and embellishments in this album and here i made this so that this is just uh fastened with magnets you can put a photo in here and you can also put a photo here so that's like I said, help close with the magnet and uh, this little um, armoire. Is that what it's called? No. This little thing here I just made and you can just write something on the back here and here. And they get like bigger the higher up you get. So here are room for small photos or journaling. And the same thing. Here. So these drawers, they pull out like this. And you can just adjust, adjust them to, to make them look nice. And um, this is just embossed with an embossing folder. Went around here with uh, the bling trim. This is a trim from Annie's shop. And uh, that's that page. So here is a Paris-themed page. This was cut from the paper to form a pocket. And this is also cut from the paper. And this trim I got from Fiona, Jenny 644 here on YouTube. Thank you, Fiona. Really love it and was perfect for this. And this is a die cut, a Tim Holtz die. And uh, there is acetate, as you can see from the glare here. And uh, this is a working frame and uh, just some te teardrop. Uh, trim from Lissy Jose's and uh, some beaded trim and yeah more bling and that's that page then the opposite page is here and uh, let's see where you can place a photo behind here or here if you want to and this forms a pocket this was cut from the, the paper and I just glossy accented it. And this is also cut from the paper to form this pocket. 
and I think this paper is actually from another DCWUV stack, this one. Um, but the rest is from the one that I got from Leonie. And again, more of Annie's trims and this bling trim. Put some pearls here to, to form the necklace. Glossy accents. And that's that. Okay. And then the back side here. Um, here is this is cameo here is like magnetic so holds here you can put a, a photo here and or you can keep the tag here with a photo on whatever you want and this is Annie's double flat back pearl trim and uh, it's so much fun because you can just cut the outer edge and then you can shape it like however you want to shape it and I also put it around this acetate pocket to hold these tags here like so more uh, Chinese braid kind of trim and this is elastic trim so yeah you can see the same paper on both sides here a little cameo and uh, more cameo I love cameos <laughs> and yeah so that's that. Okay, just let me remove this. And here is the last page. I made an envelope here. And this is loose. You can put a picture here, a picture here, and you can, of course, use this envelope for whatever you want. I'll close with a magnet. This is a sticker. And this is more of the trim from Fiona. And this is a spellbinder sky. And uh, more of the double double beads uh, flat bags from Annie's spellbinders die I got this die from Anna actually <laughs> thank you Anna and uh, yeah I can put a picture here you can write whatever here and uh, here's the back side uh, this is just a cutout from one of the uh, collage images that I got from Etsy and this is just a little button that I cut up the back of it and I just glued it down for her earring and some bling trim um, a little bow a metal flower painted white layered on some uh, flower trim a paper flower a buckle uh, a buckle slider is that what it's called slider buckle <laughs> a flat back pearl in the center and this trim I got from my dear friend Malin thank you Malin I really love this it's beautiful and I had just enough I think I had this much left when I had gone all the way around here using that and um, this is um, another lace flower here from a flower trim and this is just a brooch that I got from an eBay seller and I thought it fit perfect um, yeah so also made an envelope here you can hold a message to the one getting this album and um, a journaling card or to write a message on so this was Annie's uh, lace uh, eyelid lace trim really love how this turned out and this cameo lace here frame is also from Annie thank you so much Annie I so love this and uh, I just put a cameo in the center and some flat back pearls around it and this beautiful beautiful trim here Venice Lace is also from Annie's. So I'll put the link to uh, Annie's and my friends uh, who gave me a lot of the materials that I used in here. I'll put their links to their channels below so that you can visit them. They are wonderful crafters. They inspire me greatly. So thank you so much, everybody. And uh, thank you all for watching. I hope to see you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.